Hello my soccer universe, welcome to part 4 of this year's jersey review. My computer is acting up again. Uh, Champions League jersey review and this is the Romantics group. Again, we will run through the teams in this group in the reverse order of how they finished. I have to say there are quite some interesting jerseys in there. Not all of them are great, but they, it is all interesting. Nothing is really boring in here and it's all would all be rather red except for one team that adds the blue and makes it also uh, nice and interesting. We'll start up north with Debutants Denmark, uh, <laughs> Midtjylland from Denmark, who um, released very special Champions League jerseys and we have only seen the home jersey where it is white with this uh, flag-like black and red uh, thingy all over. And we will look at the league jerseys uh, right, right after. I never knew what the colors of Midtjylland are, but seemingly white, at least this season, is not one of their colors. So they just splashed the club's colors over. I have to say, Midtjylland probably has one of the oddest crests out there. I never understood what this should be until someone uh, told me that um, during a broadcast that this is supposed to be a wolf. I would never have gotten that this is a wolf. I saw this somewhat like a Viking helmet or whatever. Um, I think this jersey per se is actually quite nice. I don't like the swirly pattern on the white, but other than that, I think a uh, chest band that has a little added interest, that's an interesting um, touch that I like. I think I want to give Nike some credit here and uh, dish out seven stars. The Avenger is the same thing in red. Um, it loses a little bit of specialness of the chest band. However, it looks a little bit more uh, in touch with the club's identity, I have to say. I also will give this seven stars. We don't need to say much more about this. I want to show you the regular home uh, home and Avengers, the league jerseys, because uh, they tell a slightly different story. I really have to say the home jersey the black with the sash that is just lines, that looks the best of them all. I would give this a straight, um, yeah, eight stars right there. Then we have the away jersey Nike template uh, in red. We don't need to, that's uh, <laughs> a five. And more interesting, and you know, dark blue, this is this uh, third jersey, however, I really question why we have a very dark home jersey, we have a very dark third jersey. Here a white would have made more sense. It is reminiscent of this template that I think Belgium had for the away jersey at the uh, 18 World Cup. Colorwise, I really like it, but I wonder what's the use of it and that's why I'm also gonna go with five stars here. Let's move to Ajax, who I'm wearing, who were so close of qualifying, but then yeah, so close and yet so far away. The home jersey is a very nice Adidas creation, although I do not like the template, but here with Ajax I like it. They went just with red and white and then you have kind of the same pattern on the sleeve, because it's not the crazy uh, stuff they had in, in the 90s. It's a very plain, very simple very beautiful Ajax look. You cannot mess with Ajax. Uh, it's just you no know, uh, the, the red stripes on the side. I I mean Ajax as Ajax goes. Maybe uh, one would say a little bit boring but I have to say I really like this one. It's a strong look. You don't take away from the identity at, at all. Uh, we can get, go straight with eight stars. We will go even higher for the away jersey. This is one of the most exciting jerseys out there. First of all, uh, it is a proper away jersey and I'm not sure if it, I don't think it was used in the Champions League, they use a different jersey there. But again, I'm not sure if I will do an RD, although I really want to, but I don't know if I have to have an RDVZ jersey review. So let's talk about this one here. What a beauty. This is the closest thing that I think we'll get these days of having the crazy 1988 template in there for the Netherlands. But it has this certain twist to it. I mean, this is a light bluish gray, um, very interesting pattern to look at. And then just a little bit touch of red. The sponsor almost vanishes in there. I have to say this is one of I absolutely love this jersey. I cannot tell you how much. It, it is an absolutely great jersey. Um, I would actually say, I mean, 
I don't find much wrong with it. Maybe it's a little bit too much all over. Uh, but then, yeah, so what be it? I think, I think I'm gonna do it. Uh, although I think I rank this in my top 10 jerseys for this season, uh, below the Marseille jersey, which I only gave nine, I give this 10. I do give this 10 stars. Uh, it's one of my favorite jerseys this year. And for that reason, simply, it deserves the 10. And I have to say that um, uh, European away jersey or the third jer uh, jer jersey also looks right. It goes right with this common theme that we've seen a lot this season. Black with gold, like Barcelona is having, West Ham is ha ha having, and a few other teams that have black with gold. I have to say, this is probably my favorite of all of these. Although the West Ham one is really nice. Why? But why is it my favorite? Um, let me first say, this is in, it's celebrating 50 years since they first won the European Cup uh, in London, so uh, kind of there. But then uh, what it does, the gold kind of celebrates this first triumph for Ajax. Um, the black and the gray kind of hark back to the black and white era that, that we had. And then you still have with the black and the gray, you still have the classic Ajax look. Big fan of gray, but here it looks nice. Nine stars is a really, really nice one, probably my favorite, my favorite black and gold one. Also because the Ajax crest, it just lends itself to be recolored because it is just a monochromatic crest in a way. So it's very easy to do this. Ajax hit it out of the park this season. I really have to say that. Atalanta with the home jersey also. And here I like the Champions jersey a little bit better because the sponsor is a little bit, little bit smaller. Thin stripes, you saw it in the Serie A jersey review already. If not, watch it. Uh, really beautifully done, I have to say. Whenever you have thin stripes, it automatically seems uh, screams uh, classic look. I gave these nine stars. We'll stick with that. The away jersey, I'm not so cra crazy about. I really like the one from previous season that I have hanging here. Here they still have the running goddess, but all this weird pattern and then the asymmetry in the collar and the sleeve cuffs just too much uh five stars it's the best i can go and i have to say the third jersey i think it has the new stadium on there uh as a shadow pattern uh, below it somehow looks weird in game but if you look at it like this it makes sense this also this light steely blue and then the black and blue of atalanta it actually is an on-brand atalanta jersey uh, I also like the old style color. There is a, there, there, there's a certain worn feel to it, which a little bit is uh, juxtaposed with a very modern new uh, rebuilt stadium. I gave this seven stars in my Serie A jersey review. I think I will go only six because I, uh, it looks on brand, but it, the color still is not too exciting here. So I'm gonna go six here. And then we are at the big team, Liverpool, who actually had it quite easy back in the group stage day when i'm shooting this at the moment liverpool is in a major crisis and yeah i think that the uh, new nike jersey will not go down as f uh, favorites uh overall i have to say the home jersey yes i'm fine with the turquoise but again why is the turquoise and the white in a different pattern on the neck than on the sleeve cuffs than the weird interlocking on the, on the back I don't like and I think the main thing that I find rather on Liverpool is the white side stripe in, 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 in a way. It is a Liverpool jersey but I think a little bit is missing there. I gave the seven stars and unfortunately it doesn't get better. Uh, the away jersey I've seen it now in the, pre in the Premier League it does make sense on certain occasions. I just don't like it. Uh, too much swirly, too much non-Liverpool stuff in there. Liverpool is starting to really go down the Barcelona route. Every season a new jersey in a, in a color that has nothing to do with the club but will sell like crazy. It also has to be a little bit Japanese thing, whatever. Um, it's... no, I, I would not want to have this. Four stars and then the black jersey which we saw in the Champions League at Ajax would make a whole lot of sense but I don't like that template at all. And there is a little bit too much going on. You have the dark shoulders, you have then the gray sleeves, then you have the checkerboard pa pattern, then you have the red, and then you have the light. Uh, too much. It's a little bit over-designed and therefore, um, you know, choose a color uh, or choose the all over, over pattern. Make the sleeves at least in one color. But, you know, I know this pattern, uh, uh, Nike this season is going all out, especially do some, some, something about the color. 
um, this jersey could have sell, been salvaged a little bit. I know some people like it. I personally do not. Five stars. And with that, we have halfway through it. Please let me know in the com comments below what you thought about the jersey in this video. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!